Hello. In this video, we are going to see how to use Postman collection and then run it multiple times to perform the performance test or to perform same set of test multiple iterations. Here I have Postman and in case you have not seen my earlier videos how to install Postman or how to use variables with Postman, you can go and visit them or watch them on this channel. This video, we are going to see how to use this collection. Collection in Postman is a way of grouping logical API calls together. And I have this backend service and I've given the name as Nginx because I'm using the Nginx ingress here, which does post calls for three different operations and then get calls for uh, getting the version and to get the Prometheus matrix. If we look at one of these calls, it's having this ingress IP. Uh, which I showed in the earlier video. So if you want to understand how to use these variables, the global variables as part of the Postman calls or Postman API calls, you can watch that. So I have set this variable here. And then if I hit this URL or if I, I send a post request to this endpoint, I'm getting a result. Same way I have other calls here which perform different operations. Now I want to run this collection and instead of running it just one time, if I hit this run collection option, it gives me the ability to run this functional test either manually, which I'm going to do in this video, or we can also schedule this to run at a periodic time. This will use the Postman cloud and we'll have to deploy this or share this collection on the Postman cloud. There is also option to run this automatically or to automate this using the CLI. But let's stick with the Postman uh, UI or Postman desktop application to run this. I want to run this, let's say 10 times. And uh, between the calls, I want to have a slight delay of two milliseconds. I can also select a file if I want to use a particular data here. And if I want to uh, save the response or persist the response, I can do that as well. Let's stick with simple basic or the default settings here and run this 10 times with a two millisecond delay and see what happens. So we can see here that all those five calls, they were run uh, with a two millisecond delay and it tells us what is the uh, operation that was performed and what was the result. So. We got 200, which means all the calls were successful and we got the response in certain amount of time. So using this approach, you can run a Postman collection. You can perform things like performance tests and you can do multiple requests for the collection using this handy tip. I hope you found this useful. In case you like this video, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends. And do let me know in the comments what other uh, features or what other things you would like to uh, understand from me on this channel. Thanks once again for watching this. Until next time, code with passion and strive for excellence.